Welcome to KY Filler TV on YouTube, your official YouTube channel for exclusive videos on sports, entertainment, politics, and more. Kindly subscribe to our channel, KY Filler TV on YouTube, for more exciting stories. In this episode, we bring you a story from the gorgeous and award winning Ghanaian female journalist Juliet Bewa as she shares her experience in covering the just ended. 2022 fifa world cup in qatar enjoy don't forget to subscribe to our channel ky fella tv on youtube thank you Ooh, um where do i start from um preparation started a year to the tournament i was going to lead a three sports team at tv3 and we had a grand um, coverage plan which meant every box had to be ticked a lot of paperwork and also coordination um, was brought to bear and it was draining at times but we had a tournament to cover so no complaints and then there was the very personal aspect where you have to avail yourself to other commitments six months prior and even what to and what not to pack also became a problem ah that one always confusing always always confusing me but I think I finally found a hack. I know better now, and I'm not telling you yet. What was the hack? <laughs> I just said I'm not telling you, but um, I struggle every time to know what to pack and what not to pack. And even when I'm going for winter um, season, I want to still get like clothes that I can be very um, easy going. I can um, relax in them. But I think one of the biggest challenge for me was I forgot to take food along. That is Ghanaian food. You know, you, when you're traveling, you have to get shit hole and some kinky there. Or even now we travel with Wachi. But in my mind, everything was work, 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 work. I struggled. I got there and I realized, okay, I have to be eating meat, meat, meat every time. Come on. Where's the kinky? Where's the watching? Now I have to, when I have even just a little time, I have to be looking for, I don't know, but um, thanks to some um, friends in Qatar, FO and other guys, I, I managed to get my hands on some kinky and fish and some wachi and of course, jollof. <laughs> I had gone to Qatar a number of times before the tournament and seen for myself how they were getting ready. And I think that, um, so I knew that they were going to deliver a huge experience. In the end, they did. And uh, this World Cup is the best by a stretch and they really outdid themselves. And what makes it even more exciting was the fact that all the magic happened in one city, which never happened before. Also opened up possibilities for future World Cups of that kind, should that ever even be considered so it was amazing um, a lot of fatigue on journalists because everything was happening in one city you can watch two games at a in a day which you you're done from here you take about 25 or 30 minutes to get to the other venue so it was stressful on the part of journalists but i think on the part of the fans and everybody it was it was joyous uh, moment and they got to really enjoy the world cup because can watch two teams play in a day. Um, beyond leading the three sports team at TV3, which has Yao Fusulabi, Nanakuya Mankwa, um, Thierry Nyan, Nanakuku Anderson, Daniel Yaboa, Aniela Alute, Bele Shen, um, Oreko Ampofo, um, all the interns, Na, um, Sunny, um, just name them and the wider sports team within the group that is uh, Media General. I also worked with um, football's governing body that is um, FIFA and Super Sport as well. It was a privilege to work on all three projects. Um, the three sports coverage went just as we had planned months ago. The team really gave off their all both in Accra and also the cross productions that we did from Qatar. I couldn't have asked for a better team. And um, the FIFA experience also saw me work on digital content for Team Ghana in a pool of thousands of talent, while also working on features 
and special stories on Team Ghana. It was a real eye-opener um, for Supersport. I continue my Superpix journey making television appearances as well as digital content for Supersport. So all in all, I think um, it was a great tournament and a real eye-opener. Oh, the Qatar experience, um, it was surreal and also challenging. I have worked on projects at um, tournaments, but this was very different. The scale and also magnitude were so huge, you can get lost in it. So you need a lot of focus to execute everything that you plan. Seeing other journalists, broadcasters, and um, general content creators, and the amount of work they were putting in encouraged me to even reach for more. At the International Broadcast Centre and also most of the makeshift studios spread all over Doha, you couldn't help but appreciate the elaborate nature of the assignment and how each media or even individual um, was approaching this and my mind was blown. So you had no option than to step up. My key lessons, um, the fact that it can always be done when you set your mind to it. Also, there are no limits to what you can achieve so long as you have the will to see it through. But most importantly, um, forgetting the naysayers and stick to your vision. You are the only one who understands it. What else? Um, I think ingenuity pays and resolve and also dedication are everything. And this is also a note to myself each and every day. So all I can say is see you at the next World Cup.